Okay guys, so we've been raising these meat chickens for about a year in hopes that they would lay eggs and then we could hatch out those babies to raise for meat. A few months ago, our turkey named Kiwi decided to hop on in the pen with them and start to lay on their eggs, which was good for us because then she could incubate them and hatch them out and raise them, do the whole thing. But then one day we came out and every single egg was gone. So what happened? We couldn't figure it out. So we decided to set up a trail cam and wouldn't you know it, those dang meat chickens bullied Kiwi, got her to get off the eggs, and then ate every single egg that was under her. There wasn't a single shell on the ground, so we figured maybe some predator had come and taken them away. But nope, it was the meat chickens. But it's okay, because we figured out a solution. We decided to move Kiwi into the chicken coop and then build her very own little hatching house just for her without any meat chickens to bully her. It's okay, Kiwi. We're gonna make a good lane place for you where she can sit on her eggs and just do her thing. Once it was all finished, we added a bunch of straw and a few eggs we gathered this morning from the meat chickens and introduced her okay, to her new house. Go. Which she was a little bit confused Stop, about. Oh, Get her foot up there. There you go. See? Oh, she loves it. <laughs> she loves it. I think eventually she'll go in there. I think so. <laughs> All right, Kiwi. You okay? So the plan is we'll let Kiwi live in the chicken coop. She can lay on these eggs. And then every morning we'll gather the newest eggs from the meat chickens so they can't eat them and Kiwi can hopefully hatch them out. Oh, and by the way, the Silky, who was really broody and was trying to hatch out eggs of her own, well, she changed her mind. She decided she's over this hatching business, and she decided to not be broody anymore. So that whole project is thrown out the window, and now all our hopes are in Little Kiwi to hopefully hatch out some little chicks soon. Make the run. Come eat down here. I know. On the, on the slower teats. They say you're supposed to be right when they're born, but the runt's at the top. I didn't really oh, do I, that. I did. Oh, did you? I did. I wasn't paying attention. I did, and, and the other ones are just too big and strong. They're just like, nope. Another one of our piggies was dead this morning. So. I know. Ugh. Hermione accidentally um, laid on it last night, yeah. which is crazy because it's a big, strong one that's fast. And yeah. so somehow she was able to sit on it. We have these rails around the edges here, and Hermione's really good. Like, if a piglet is at all screaming, she hops right up. So yeah. it's so weird to me that that happened. It was right here in the middle where the piggy should have been able to run. Was it on the edge? So by about four to five days, the piglets shouldn't get smushed. Like they're usually quick enough to run if she goes to lay down. But for some reason, this little one just didn't get didn't get out from under her in time, I guess. So we've consulted with some of our pig expert friends and they said that when they're a week old, we can separate the mama at night so we can put them in a little separate area. And then that way when she's groggy and sleeping at night and it's dark, hopefully, you know, that should take care of it. Yeah, so, it's just like six hours or so from midnight until six or something like that. Yeah, I think that's good. Cause during the day we're out here and she's really good about getting up if any piglet makes a sound. She's going to lay down right now. Super slow. Yeah, and then she rolls over slow. She's such a good mama. There is a chance that it might have gotten sick or aspirated or something, but we're guessing that Hermione must have laid on it. That's the only thing that we can think of. We found it right in this little, little hole that she dug, so we're thinking that that's what happened. Poor thing. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I 
I was always the one to find myself lost in long conversations, oh. Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. And I feel so free. Oh, my sweet baby. I know, I know, stay over here. <laughs> Winnie's just like right here, keeping you company. So Willow is looking better. It's growing out actually faster than I thought it would. And I never thought that we would be putting sunscreen on a goat, but I read that that's the best way to protect them as their hair is growing out. I know, Willow. Just a little bit. Willow is doing good. No sunburns yet. And you're really pretty, huh? You are pretty. Okay. Well, it's time for Apollo to go to his new home. The new owners don't want us to film it, so we'll just have to keep you guys updated later on. So today we banded him so that he can't breed, he'll just be a pet. Oh, I know. That's right, I know. <sighs> okay, now let's do his CD&T. And then we gave him his CD&T vaccination. <coughs> okay. He's okay. He's nice and big, nice and healthy. He's ready to go. All he has to do now is say goodbye to all the other goats. Goodbye, Astrid. <laughs> She's Hi. like, stay away from me. <laughs> Give him a hug. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> okay. Okay, Stella. Come say goodbye to your baby. She doesn't want anything to do with him. Hey. Remember him? No. Uh, Looks just like No, him. she's yeah. like, she thinks we're going to make her feed him. She doesn't want to feed him. Winnie's okay. like, hi. Say goodbye to Winnie instead. Okay, you like Winnie. Say goodbye to Salem, too. <laughs> <laughs> They're friends. I'm just gonna sit. Salem! She's saying goodbye. Kiss. Astrid, it's time for your play date. I know you don't want to, but <laughs> she does <laughs> not want like, uh -oh. You like these boys. Yeah, they're fun. Be nice, there's your Tilly. there's your friends. She's like great. <laughs> because Astrid is pretty much ready to be weaned, I mean Apollo's completely weaned. It's time for her to start having play dates and spending more time away from her mom. So hopefully she can be fully weaned by the time she goes home in a couple weeks. Astrid's going to a home in California where they have some fainting goats and other fun goats. So she's gonna have fun, she's just gonna be a pet, and yeah, she'll have a fun life uh, over in California. And she definitely is getting big. She's gonna be a big goat. Well guys, the geese, <laughs> they keep pulling the eggs out and spreading them out all over their pen. Why are you guys doing that? Why don't you love all of your <laughs> eggs equally, Esme? How you doing, Ethan? I'm good. Good. So what do you think, Ethan? Why do you think they're pulling out all of their eggs? In different spots. But you don't think some of them are bad, right? Maybe, but... Maybe, I don't know. I don't know if they can tell which yeah, eggs are bad or not. Watch out! He's coming! He's coming for you! Okay, Dad's gonna put him back. <laughs> it's so funny, she'll leave him in there for like a week and then she'll all of a sudden want to pull all of them back out. 
How many are there now? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, what? twelve. Twelve? Okay, 12 eggs, she is definitely gonna sit on them. A dozen. Right? Or maybe at 12 eggs, she just discards all of them. Yeah. I don't know, I keep waiting. Maybe she'll, maybe she'll lay. This world is small, but for things that we no answers to questions We try to find The reason that we live And why we die But I know what I've seen Simple mystery So come on babe Let's not waste a moment Answers to questions. Let's live our lives finding a meaning of a different kind. I know what I've seen. Kevin is having a fun bath day. Salem's having fun. Are you having fun? Do you like your bath? She does after she gets used to it. That is some dirty water. <laughs> Are you okay? You're doing really good. <laughs> She's so cute. She is a big dog. Tatum is so funny, she always cracks me up because whenever she's in heat, she comes here and just sits by the boys and teases them. Except now she's decided to just watch Winnie swing. <laughs> Winnie's the only one that goes on our swing. Sort of like how Willow loves the stump. You like that swing? <laughs> and have you been teasing the boys, huh? You look so cute all shaved because you have all those cool white spots. <laughs> oh, these boys just love you, don't they? You are so pretty. You're so pretty, Tatum. I swear, Tilly has the prettiest babies. <laughs> So Tatum and Willow are on the same cycle. They go into heat the same time. So the second Tatum goes into heat, I always know Willow's gonna go into heat. And I think that I think that that's true. I think Willow's coming into heat here. Do you like the boys too? <laughs> Winston. It's funny because even though Winston is Willow's son, he doesn't really care. She doesn't care either. They would totally breed. So that's why we have to keep them separated here. Um, but yeah, it's a fun uh, love fest over here between Zorro, Winston, Tatum, and Willow. I think Willow loves Tatum right now. They like to be very affectionate to everybody when they're in heat. Huh, Willow? So the plans are to breed Tatum in May and not breed Willow till August. So we're gonna hold back. Because we live in Arizona, we have to wait to breed them so that they don't deliver their babies in the heat. I can't even talk because he's so loud. Zorro, <laughs> Zorro holds his own though. I mean like he really fights Winston. Oh my gosh, these boys. What are they doing, Tatum? Are they crazy? Boys are crazy. You'll get to breed with Zorro. That'll be fun. Are you trying to tell them love stories? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. So 
settle down. They definitely love to tease these boys. Okay, Tatum's done. Winnie goes into heat too, but she seems to be more in tune uh, in sync with Fern over there for whatever reason. That's the one right there, you see it? That's the devil chicken, it hates me the most. <laughs> I think you'll be safe, it's way over there. Mm, I don't know, I'm not so sure. Well, I don't think Kiwi wants to lay on these eggs yet, although she did lay another one. Yeah, she, she has been in there, she's just not staying. I think they have to do like 20 eggs, you know, before they yeah, want to lay on a them. huge clutch before they actually commit to sitting on it. Yeah. All right, maybe eventually she'll start laying on them. She seems to like the house, so... All right, while we're waiting for Kiwi to lay on these eggs, why don't you guys go ahead and watch the video where we first brought Kiwi home. Go watch that. Put it right here. <laughs> right here.